I think as long as your gifts are thoughtful, they don't have to be expensive, but they're specific to that person and they know that you put some thought into it about them for the gift. I am Tanika. Hey honeys, how are you? Thanks for clicking on Simply Tanika too. I am Tanika. So today we're gonna do something sexy for your significant other and it's a little gift wrapping. Um, so I am a Taurus. Tauruses are of the earth and we like the way things feel, like we like luxury, which kind of fits in with my theme of food, fitness, and simply living fabulously. You know, I like my um, fuzzy pillows and I like the feel of my furniture. And I think when we give a gift to someone, we should delight them. And so I am going to wrap up Bay's Valentine's Day. And hopefully you had a nice Valentine's Day. You'll be seeing this after Valentine's Day. Um, and if you like this video and want to see more of these types of video, please remember to give it a thumbs up. Going to wrap up the Valentine's Day gift. We haven't seen each other for Valentine's Day. We'll see each other this weekend. But my theme is champagne, chompers. Uh, we are both wine snobs. And if you don't know, champagne is liquid that comes from the grapes of the region of Champagne in France, Champagne. So the theme of the gift is champagne. I have these little champagne bottles. I'm going to decorate this box. It's just a plain white box. I got it at Paper Source. You can get a box at any sort of stationery store. Bay likes boxes to store things. So I thought instead of doing gift wrapping, I would do this and it's more eco-friendly and it will be reused and repurposed. So the first thing I'm going to do is decorate the white box with little bottles of champagne and champagne glasses. I'm so excited to give this to Bay. I am putting little champagne stickers all over it and I'm going to give this to him on date night. I am taking him out to Cork Buzz, which is a super fun place that a lot of sommeliers go to practice before their test so they have cool things like wine tasting they have flights they have blind tastings to see if you really know your stuff um or if you're just fronting as a wine snob and yeah i went there a couple oh it's probably been a year now here i'll insert some footage from there And so it's just fun and they have a special on Sunday. Uh, champagne is buy one, get one free or half off. We like bottles, so it'll definitely be a buy one, get one free kind of Sunday. All right, so there we go. We're all done with the box. It looks like this. And that is a unique box and no one else is gonna have that box because it was made just for this occasion and I should mention the reason why I'm stressing champagne in the region of France the plan is we have discussed going to um, Champagne Champagne this year and so I want to plant the seed of remembrance um, the idea yeah we're gonna go on wine tasting and champagne tasting trip so I haven't been to Paris so we'll go to Paris we'll go to Champagne we'll probably do some other regions um, my last big wine trip was to Italy and we went everywhere in Italy but the main place we went was Tuscany I like Montepulciano wine and so I went to the region of Montepulciano I went to Montalcino um, a bunch of places we went we also went to Venice um, we went to and I went with my mom and my sister when I'm saying we um, where else do we go? Milan. So we had a whirlwind in Italy and so I want to have a whirlwind in Paris. I think my mom and my sister are also going to go. My sister got married last year so I'm not sure um, if she and her husband are going to go but we'll see. 
So keeping with the theme of champagne, I got pairing bonbons. So this is for pairing with champagne. So I have those. Those are going to go in the box as well. Um, Bay likes plants and has a bunch of plants at home. And so I'm being considerate of that. These are plantable hearts. And I originally was gonna sprinkle them in the box and just like leave a note that they were plantable, but I wanna make sure they don't get mixed up with the confetti that I'm going to put in here. So I'm just going to leave the hearts in this bag so that it's clear these are plantable. Some of the other things I got. So you have probably already seen my other video where I did the boudoir shoot and I didn't tell Bay what the pictures were for. I said they were for YouTube, which they were. Hopefully you enjoyed that video. Um, but they were also so that I could get a print to give to Bay for Valentine's Day. And here I got this. I sent this off to Fracture and they framed it for me. So it's actually printed on the frame. It's made out of glass and I think it's adorable. Um, and it came the day before Valentine's Day. I did it last minute. So had I seen Bay on Valentine's Day, I would have given it. Um, in, I would have given the whole gift, but that didn't happen. So that was never the plan to happen. So it, everything is working out as planned. And then I got this, which I thought was cute. Over, it's same thing at like the paper source. Water from a stone, again, because Bay is into plants. This is a way to water plants while you are away, which is also helpful if you're going to be away, I don't know, in Paris and can't water your own plants. So it serves a dual purpose. But I think as long as you get gifts, and then I got a pair of socks from the university that Bay went to. Um, I think as long as your gifts are thoughtful, they don't have to be expensive, but they're specific fit to that person and they know that you put some thought into it about them for the gift I think that's what really makes it special and fabulous and has the potential to delight the receiver I mean don't you always feel special when you get a gift that you know someone put a lot of thought into that it was specifically for you versus I don't know a box of chocolates from the drugstore or Cheyenne and I were making jokes earlier um, fruit on a stick like how much salt did you put into it before you gave me this pineapple with the toothpick of it? You know what I'm saying? So anyway, I digress. Those are all great gifts. If I'm just trying to help you out. If you want to put a little bit more magic in your life and delight your loved one, this is an easy way to do it. Give them something that is touching and special to them. So I'm just going to stick this all in here. Actually, the photo has to go in first because of the size. So it's going to divide in the box like this. So we'll have it across. Um, you know what? No, I want to wrap that up and put it in the middle so that it's in there first, but it's the last thing to come out. Sort of like that's the, the icing on the cake, if you will, or the cake topper on the cake topper. Then we'll put this in the stones. We'll put the bonbons in on the other side. And I think this may have to come off of, yeah. And of course, or not of course, if you're not used to wrapping gifts, you wanna make sure you take off all the price tags and all the stickers. Or if you don't, if you can't get the price tag off, I just took a black marker and put the line through so they don't see the price. The things I got are not really I know none of these are going to be returned, so I'm not worried about a gift receipt. Um, I think that's what's helpful when you get thoughtful gifts as well. Unless there's a size issue, which the only thing I got that's sizable are the socks, and they're pretty much one size fits all, so they're good. So everything is in there, and I'm gonna put these inside as well. Over there. So here's the confetti that I just want to put on top to kind of cover everything up so that when the box gets open, you can immediately see everything that's in there. A little undressing, if you will. And I don't think I need another thing of tissue paper, but of course, if you want to put tissue paper on there, by all means, put tissue paper on there. And then... I think I will tape down the sides because I will be going over there in an Uber or on the subway since I live in New York and that'll just make it easier to transport. And I will sign the cute little card and put it on top. And I was going to sign it right now, but I don't need to sign it on camera. And then there you go. So simple 
elegant and very specific to the person that you love or that you care deeply about so that they know you put some thought into what you gave them, which I think is important. So again, if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up if you want to see more videos like that. I will put all the links down in the description box below from where I got the picture frame, which is Fracture. I'll put that there and then to all the other um, things that I got at Paper Source. I know I haven't been consistent in posting for those of you who have been here for a while. I promise I will be more consistent. Um, if you came over from my other channel, you know I've had a lot going on on my journey to be a single mom by choice. And so I am back and committing to you that I will be posting on a more regular basis. So make sure you turn on your notification bell so you'll be notified when I upload a new video. And I thank you for hanging out with me. I'll see you later, honeys. Bye. You made it to the end screen. I hope that you'll subscribe. Just click over here. And if you want to catch up on my latest videos, simply click over here. All right, join me tomorrow for food, fitness, and simply living fabulously. Cheers.